uh, webinar today. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. So I'm Jamie Wallace of IDECA. Um, in terms of our uh, speakers for the, our uh, replenishment webinar today, we have uh, David Thompson. He's the Director of Sales uh, for IDECA's retail practice. We also have Valerie Prendergast today. She's our uh, Senior Supply Chain Expert. She has uh, experience in a variety of CPG and retail companies. Uh, experience with mul multiple re uh, retail systems around uh, IBM, SAP, and Microsoft. And she'll be uh, speaking to the pros and cons of various replenishment models. And finally, we have Arab Suri, who is a key resource from IDEACA, who is at uh, HDS Retail North America. And he'll be providing uh, an, inter an overview of the uh, TXT solution. Uh, I guess at this point, uh, I'd just like to hand it off to David Thompson, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Thanks a lot, Jamie, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, in terms of today's objectives, uh, you know, there's a few things that we wanted to accomplish today. We wanted to discuss some of the retail replenishment challenges uh, in the marketplace. A lot of the things we're going to be talking about are certainly going to be near and dear to your hearts and things that you're going to be very much familiar with already. But we're going to start off by kind of talking about those just quickly. And then later on in the presentation, Valerie is going to be speaking to them more specifically and talking about some of the challenges as they relate to different replenishment models specifically. Um, Secondly, we're going to be demonstrating the TXT ePerform tool and solution. Now, this and what we're going to be uh, demonstrating is really just the replenishment piece of it. TXT certainly has a, a broad range of capabilities within their suite. Uh, today, we're just really more focused on the replenishment side of things. Um, just to level set, what we're going to be doing is, is basically walking you through a set of uh, scenarios and screenshots. It's not going to be an up and live uh, running demonstration, but I think the intent and the purpose of this is just to show you the capability of the product and walk you through it and, and show you how uh, clients are using it today. Uh, we're going to also share uh, uh, one of our customer experiences with a, uh, a very large prominent retailer um, by the name of HDS Retail, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. And I think one of the interesting things about HDS in the context of this uh, webinar today is the fact that they've used a couple of different models and they're using something uh, somewhat of a hybrid model that we're going to talk to you about and hopefully you'll find it uh, a value. And finally, we'll, we'll wrap up just by doing uh, some, some Q&A and, and answer any questions that you may have about, uh, about the presentation. So just to kind of start things off, um, at a high level, in terms of the challenges, we, we're all aware and we all know that, uh, you know, in today's environment, uh, you know, the ability for retailers to quickly adapt their supply chains and their replenishment models uh, due to increased complexity and globalization is, is obviously key. Uh, that's not news to anyone here on the phone. Um, we know that when it comes to replenishment and retail, having the right product at the right time, avoiding lost sales is, is the ultimate goal increasing sales while, dri while driving down costs, you know, getting out of that classic situation of avoiding overstock and avoiding understock and improving forecast accuracy. You know, at a high level, those are the, you know, some of the key challenges that have been around kind of forever. Uh, as I say, we'll start diving deeper into some of the challenges within the different models um, as we get further into the, into the presentation. Um, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll quickly just give you, uh, everyone on the, on, the, on the line here, a brief overview of IDEACA, kind of who we are and what we do. So essentially, IDEACA is a Canadian-based uh, consulting firm. We, we specialize in advising on and implementing business applications. We've got a very heavy focus on retail. Uh, we have offices, obviously, here in Toronto, where we're talking to you from today, Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton. Uh, we've got approximately 170 employees. Uh, privately held. The areas that we focus on are obviously one of the areas uh, that we're speaking to you about today is supply chain management. And in the slide, you'll see in particular rep uh, retail replenishment solutions. Uh, but we also provide broader uh, supply chain advisory and implementation solutions on the TXT platform specifically. Uh, we also have a very heavy focus on ERP uh, in the retail space. And when I say ERP, that, that includes everything from front to back from the store level and the POS level all the way back to your back office applications. 
We tend to focus really in the Microsoft space, uh, in Microsoft's suite of ERP products, in particular a solution called Dynamics AX, which uh, many of you might, might have heard of or, or perhaps might, have even, might even be using. Uh, so it's certainly a key area of focus for us. Uh, we also have a, a very large corporate performance management uh, or BI practice, uh, which really has a lot of uh, you know, interconnectivity to some of the things we're talking about today. And we do a significant amount of work also in the portal space. In particular, SharePoint uh, is a very big area of focus for us. And even in the retail space in particular, we've, uh, we've done a significant amount of work in the SharePoint realm for clients. Uh, so helping them establish their intranet, extranet for supplier portals, even customer-facing portals uh, as a website and an e-commerce site. Um, really, where we we differentiate is is we provide we kind of bundle in the advisory services, not unlike what you would get from a big four consulting firm, with the implementation services in the areas that I just discussed. And finally, we have uh, support services that can assist our clients. 24 by 7, so it's a well-established support services uh, organization that we can, you know, uh, take calls from our clients on their particular implementations of whatever technology we've implemented, and uh, and help them through any uh, issues uh, or advice they may uh, they may be seeking. So, the the differentiator there in our experience is that a lot of companies tend to focus in in either of those areas. They're either maybe a niche partner that will do something specific in one of those four areas that I spoke about, or they may provide support or advisory services, we tend to bundle them, uh, but bundle them all up uh, uh, as, a, as a cohesive offering. So if we move on, uh, well actually, sorry, I should point out that on um, retail replenishment solution, it's, it's, it's important to, to, to give you some context as to why we're talking today. So in terms of TXT, so really, a, a Going back a year ago or so, we decided to, to partner up with TXT, and the reason we did this, it was such a natural fit for IDECA. Uh, TXT is, is heavily focused in retail, uh, you know, customers all over the world. I believe in retail in particular, somewhere in the magnitude of 250 clients. IDECA is very heavily focused in retail. Um, so what we, we found through our experiences uh, working with our retail clients is that they have a strong need for these solutions. Um, you know, a lot of our clients are sophisticated when it comes to their replenishment models and their strategies uh, and their policies, but they don't necessarily have the tools or the capabilities to assist them and actually deliver and having a business application that can support them. Uh, so that is that was a really a natural fit for us to team up with TXT, and we've had a lot of success working with them already with clients. Um, it's important to point out as well, again, that replenishment is one area of focus, but TXT is very heavily focused in product data management, product lifecycle management, assortment planning, um, these types of things. So uh, very much thing, uh, areas that are, are, are key and core to retail. Um, so that's really the, the backdrop as to how we ended up working together, and it's been a great partnership uh, this far and continues to be. Uh, in terms of, uh, if we move to the next slide, slide four, um, and an overview of IDECA in the retail space in particular, really what we kind of hang our hat on is that we're, we're here to be your trusted advisor. We, we, again, we provide the advisory services, the technology services, and can be looked at as a partner to work with uh, from start to finish on, on projects that align to the areas I spoke about previously. Um, we're a very, very much a benefits-driven company, so any project that we embark on, we always uh, you know, keep in mind what the end goal is and, and keep a, a close eye on what the benefit for the client is, why are we doing this, what's the value, and uh, making sure the client has a, be a you know, benefits realization uh, component to the project. Uh, strong, proven track record on time, on budget delivery, very experienced project team. We have people that have come from the retail space people that have worked uh, in previous lives for some of the big consulting, consulting firms that work on the ground with some of the larger retailers in North America. Um, and some of our clients, just to give you a snapshot, include Weston, Boston Pizza, uh, HDS, which we're going to talk about today. Uh, Petro Canada would probably be one of our largest retail clients. We've been working with them since 2004 on a number of initiatives, uh, Hudson's Bay Company uh, and others. So certainly. Um, you know, a, a stable of some of the, the largest uh, retailers and most successful retailers uh, in the country. Um, 
so I, I, hopefully that helps provide a bit of a, a background as to kind of what we're going to talk about today, who IDEACA is, and, you know, and why we have this partnership with, with TXT. Um, at this point in time, I'll, I'll turn it over to Valerie, and she'll uh, start walking you through some of the different replenishment models and, uh, and get into the meat of the presentation. So thanks very much, Valerie. Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to welcome you, and thank you for attending today. I know your time is precious, so spending some of it with us, we really do appreciate it. Um, today, we're going to discuss alternative frameworks for replenishment models. And why you would choose one over the other is really dependent on your business pain points. And it's important to know that there's not one size. One size does not fit all in this case. Um, you really need to understand what are your business goals. Are your goals, your primary driver is it your ability to accommodate different product complexities, get, gain better control of your inventory and operations, or provide flexibility for your local store characteristics. And, as always, underlying any of the replenishment models, you want a model that addresses your business risk and provides simplicity of execution in order to achieve the user adoption. At HDS, the example we're going to talk about today, they, um, they were based on a store-centric model, and they moved to a hybrid model with the long-term goal of going fully centralized. So in the, in the next few slides, I'm actually going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of each of the models. Um, I don't want to do death by PowerPoint, so I'm not actually going to read the bullet points to you. Um, basically, in a fully centralized model, uh, your drivers, really, you need to understand what it is that you want. Um, is it you want to gain control and be able to um, forecast and replenish, take advantage of you know, maximizing your trade spend dollars that everybody knows we only have limited budget budgets for those. Um, and making sure that, you know, you prevent lost sales. That's ultimately the goal. Um, in a store-centric model, basically the driver for that would be the localization of your product assortment. Maybe there's reasons why you need your store manager to define um, what it is he needs to replenish in his stores. And you need to understand the weaknesses, which I think most of you on the phone probably do already. You want to be able to minimize the high transportation and inventory costs. So in the hybrid model, and this is the model that, that HDS is currently using right now, um, the main goal of your hybrid model is you want to, again, like I talked about earlier, you want to make sure that you I'm oh, sorry, that you're able to scale out and accommodate your greater de your demand variability amongst your different product categories while centralizing your replenishment decisions. And the hybrid model ultimately represents a better balance between improved control and localization. 